Bitcoin hoodie guy coming back with another Casper video. Before we get into it, could you please, Mike Tyson, the like and subscribe button. Right now you can see that it's just about under 11 cents. Did get down to 10 and a half cents. The whole market bled out. Uh, you can see Bitcoin is down 4.3%. ETH down 6%. I saw Bitcoin get down under $60,000. Um, just a lot of blood in the market. The ETF for Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, went live in uh, Hong Kong, but that meant everything went down, I guess, by the you know rumor and sell the news. All right, you can see the rust migration is just basically staying about the same, just a hair over 20%. Michael Sutton over here, uh, three hours ago, maybe an unpopular opinion. A cryptocurrency that solves the trilemma doesn't need to convince everyone it solved it right away or at all. The true properties it has achieved will showcase themselves in time through challenges and dynamics as the economy evolves over it. Uh, to date, not a single significant bub issue is reported for CASPA on Rust mainnet. So, or uh, yep, so that was a couple days ago. And someone right here said, based on the f frequently asked questions and my somewhat limited knowledge of the script engine, Casplex design must be using P2SH script public keys. Such scripts are hashed and signature spending them contain the pre-image of the hash as well as a signing logic required. A primary example of current usage uh, are multi-sig wallets. The hash can encode arbitrary data and external storage providers can prove it by showing the data. While the hash is effectively stored in the SPK field of a, UX, a UTXO. So right here, this person, Elipor, Elipor. Elipor. Interesting. Michael Sutton is guessing how Casplex works. Love how decentralized the knowledge is in Casplex. Anyone can take the baton and build. Right now, Casplex website uh, was a holder website. Now this is what it's showing. No such bucket code. Uh, this bucket doesn't exist. So it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. Also, no recent tweets from Casplex. So they should have some things going on the next few weeks in May. Let's see what they come up with. See if there's a, a beta that rolls out. It'll be exciting. Uh, just one of those red days. And if you got conviction on whatever you're invested in, you're just holding strong. Try not to look at the charts too much and just letting the bull market unfold. So thanks for watching and have a good day.